one of the most important Egyptian gods and the most famous of all. He is the god of Thebes and the head of its triad and the member of the octonary of El Ashmonin. He merged with god Ra under the name Amon Ra and by that Amon was tied to the creed of the sun and took over the position of the principal god of the state since the 12th dynasty and remained like that most of the parts of the ancient Egyptian history. There are many opinions regarding the nature of the name of Amon and its origin, for the word Iman has appeared in the ancient Egyptian language as a verb that means to hide or to disappear. The word Iman has come also as an adjective to mean the hidden or the secretive or the absent. It was written mostly in the same way the verb was written. The word Iman was used in the Old Kingdom era as an adjective meaning the right or the western and also points to the right side considering the word is a name. God Amon has derived his name from the adjective of the invisible which expresses the nature thus embodied in his role as one of the members of the octonary of El Ashmurin for the first time and that's according to what was mentioned in the pyramids texts. The name of Amon has appeared for the first time in the time of the Middle Kingdom on two panels from the 11th dynasty. One of them was found in the tomb of King Entefa in the area of El Gorna as word per Amon, which means the house or temple of Amon. As for the second stele, which belongs to King Entef Wahanch or Entef II, a chant was recorded on it and directed to Goddess Hatur and God Amon. The stela was found in the cemetery of Dera Abul Naga and is kept today in the Metropolitan Museum in New York.